Inspiration or iceberg? We're gonna talk about avoiding business disaster. We make a lot of decisions every day and they have a huge impact on our happiness and our success. Yet most of us never question whether our decision-making process is flawed. It, it stands to reason that the only way to avoid these icebergs in life is to know where they're located. Sometimes we don't consider the consequences of a decision or, or we only consider the most direct and immediate ones and ignore side effects. And that can cause even bigger problems than the ones we were trying to solve in the first place. That's what happened to those in charge of the Titanic who wanted to arrive at their destination 24 hours ahead of schedule in order to silence critics who, while they claimed that the large ship would be super slow, those in charge that owned the place ignored the multiple warnings about icebergs, both from their internal crew and external sources. Warnings that should have told them had they heeded it to slow down for safety's sake. We tend to see things as we would like them to be, confusing wishful thinking with reality. For example, 75% of drivers think they are above average behind the wheel, which is, well, statistically impossible. I bet if I asked both you and I, we would think that we are better than average drivers. Am I right? Hmm. Hi, I'm Sue Kropauer, and I've been an entrepreneur for most of my life in one way or another. My passion is to help 30 to 50 somethings that have aspirations to be their own boss, to, to transform their big idea into a viable blueprint for success that builds a business and a life that serves them. And, well, help them avoid some of the pitfall, pitfalls and potholes that I've stepped in in the past and learned from over the past 25 years. As aspiring entrepreneurs, we all tend to wear rose-colored glasses about our business idea, our concepts, our skills, our products, or our services. Our service is brilliant, of course. Absolutely, our product is groundbreaking. It's revolutionary. Never been thought of before. Our business ideas are, are like our babies. And you know you can never tell someone their baby is ugly, right? Admit it. We also tend to magnify the positive expect aspects of our business ideas and, well, negative, minimize the negative ones. Now, don't get me wrong. Intuition is a perfectly acceptable means of making a decision. I absolutely believe that intuition, that gut instinct, can be an asset. But when we allow intuition, relying on our gut to outweigh any analytical thinking, it leads to critical, business-crushing, wallet-breaking mistakes. Admit it. You know it too. Intuition or gut feeling is not enough unless, it's, unless you combine it with solid information. More often than you'd think, new business owners will take a stance on their BHAG, their big, hairy, audacious goal or idea, and fail to see beyond it. Ignoring marketing trends, not looking at what might be better options that are out there, and forging ahead and launching with great optimism, but perhaps without much else in their tool belt. One good way to avoid this bias is to, this blind spot, is to try and distinguish facts, objective, from opinions, subjective. What's more, testing our hunches with low-cost experiments is important. You must test and validate your business idea in as many ways as possible so you can craft the appropriate business plan and strategy for your unique business. And one of those is through a business litmus test to determine the probability of success for that amazing, stupendous, BHAG business idea you've got. To let objective data tell you whether or not your business, your baby, is truly beautiful or not. My Assess My Biz for Entrepreneurs process includes a 36-point business viability assessment that will help you. It will provide you with objective insight into what you need to do to start up or scale up a successful business. By knowing your business viability score, knowing which of the seven success segments still need a little, more, little bit more focus and work, you can develop a solid plan forward for your business launch. Launching before you're not only confident, but you're 100% sure of your business readiness is the difference between a less than great launch, or dare I say even failure, and launching something inspirational, revolutionary, and life-changing, both for you and your customers. 
use the link to submit your application for a spot in our breakthrough mentoring process. Formatted, I, I formatted them as quick sprints that are focused on specific business objectives, usually aligned with that business liability, not liability, business litmus test, to learn your viability score and understand what you need to do to start up or scale up a successful business. Rather than hitting hidden traps of that business iceberg that can sink your ship. Thanks for tuning in to me, and we'll talk to you same bat time, same bat channel next Friday.